Hello everyone, for this vlog today, I will be at the Calgary Zoo doing a heat wave, attending a special photography exclusive event. So the event was created by the Wilder Institute of the Calgary Zoo and also alongside the camera store. Basically what's going to happen is that they're going to close off the Destination Africa section of the zoo only to photographers and with the less crowding we can get very nice shots so how they're going to do it is that they're going to create some feeding opportunities where the staff is going to feed these animals and when they get close we could be taking those photos and the nice advantage is that there won't be any other visitors around another advantage is that uh, the price also includes an access to the other areas of the zoo grounds with the general public so i'm in the canadian portion of it and i'll be exploring other areas of the zoo uh, there's a likelihood that the Canadian portion is going to be quite underwhelming as you can see there's some construction going on and almost half the animals are actually not here. Alright, so I was able to see a black bear and a wolf, two of them actually. And so far I'm unable to find the other animals even though with the renovations they said there'll be still some around. But no big deal, off to the next one. One of the main reasons why this event appealed to me is because we get to take photos up close of animals of Africa. And I'm a huge fan of the giraffe and I'm hoping to capture some close-up shots of that. Alright, the next immediate exhibit I can go to is Destination Africa, so the one that I'll be seeing later on tonight. So might as well do some early scouting, see what I can imagine or think about capturing. Oh, yes, 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 look at that giraffe. I am making my attempts in locating the lion, but so far everything is failing. I have no idea where they are. So far I'm no noticing a majority of the animals are likely hiding in shade. I don't think it's because they're being shy. I think it's because it's literally a heat wave for like the third day in the row. So possibly they're just trying to stay cool. So completely fine to have on the inside of the habitat and we encourage you to get as many pictures as you can. Please refrain from touching the lemurs or any rocks or ropes in the habitat as they do use it as a bathroom. Thank you. So the lemur exhibit was a bit of a bust because they're all hiding in the shade. I don't know if you can see them very far away at the far corner, right maybe around there. You see them. I just had a great conversation with one of the staff members where they were talking about how even though some of these animals cannot be released to the wild, they still try to help them in a positive way. One example is actually they would actually trade off the animals to other zoos so they can have some sort of like vacation of some sort and they can have a fresh new environment to enjoy in and then, then they come back later on. Alright, so far I was able to see ostrich, zebra, giraffes and some lemurs but uh, unfortunately I was not able to see gorillas or uh, lions. So hopefully I can see them later on today. I'm in the rainforest portion now. 
which is much more humid, so it's a little bit more hot than normal. Alright, I finished the uh, Destination Africa portion of the zoo. Now I'm off to another section and see what else they can offer. And so far I was able to see majority of the animals except for the lion. Hopefully that could change later on today. Okay, so the next one I think I'm going to go to are these gardens that's roughly a minute away. So we can take a look at that and see how it is inside. Oh man, the greenhouse is very, very beautiful and it's also very, very humid. At least I'm not feeling any sunburn, but wow, it is very, very warm in here. Butterfly gardens are very, very beautiful. So, in my humble opinion, I think the butterfly gardens and the greenhouse was very, very beautiful. Very humid though, but yes, it was very beautiful, containing lots of beautiful butterflies. Surrounding the greenhouse and the butterfly gardens is actually an external garden filled with plenty of other flowers and plants. Very beautifully shaped and they smell wonderful too. Alright, now I'm going to explore the Exploration Asia exhibit, which contains obviously animals from Asia. So I was able to see a majority of the Asia animals from snow leopards to even the tiger but the tiger was very far away and was asleep I was able to catch that with my camera but uh, yeah <laughs>